Mr. President, Secretary General, due to time limitations, I wish to associate myself with all previous statements of acknowledgments and respects, as well as appreciations to Romania, the ITU, and to all who have joined us this morning. Having said that, and with all protocols observed, please allow me to begin with some background on my country. Micronesia is an island country with 607 islands spread out over 1 million square miles in the Western Pacific Ocean. With this geographical makeup, my country faces formidable challenges in its ongoing nation-building efforts. As a result, ICT has become a tremendously important development tool. Due to limited time, I wish to focus my statement on four key issues. First, Micronesia is making good progress towards establishing a modern and open communications industry. We have been on a 10-year path to deliver better outcomes from our communications sector. We need better, more reliable services at lower prices so that everyone can take advantage of what new digital services can deliver. We have a well-established regulator to manage market behavior. We have an open access entity that owns the undersea cable infrastructure connecting three of our four states, Bombay, Chuuk, and Yap, and we have the start of a competitive industry developing. Second, new satellite services will make a big difference to Micronesia with our widely spread island-based population. The benefits of reform and opening up the market have allowed us to be ready for changes in technology that we couldn't have imagined at the start. The expected low prices and high performance of the new low Earth orbit satellite providers offer promises that will be revolutionary. Having a low latency 100 megabytes per second service at affordable rates in all our islands mean we will have a level of redundancy and resiliency for critical services that was once only possible with multiple submarine cables. Third, we have a significant investment program that will upgrade all our long-life fixed infrastructure. Our investment program is focusing on completing a submarine cable to our fourth state, Ushai. This will ensure that all the four main island states will soon have access to FTTH and will deliver mobile internet coverage to our remote islands. The goal is for everyone to have access to high-speed, reliable connectivity. The connection to Kushai through the East Micronesia cable system will also provide connections to our neighboring island countries of Kiribati and Nauru. This will create opportunities for both our neighbors and us to aggregate our demand and those content delivery networks in a common location to improve service and lower our shared costs. In this regard, I wish to extend our appreciation to the United States, Australia, and Japan, who are financing this major development project. Fourth, our ultimate goal is to make digital services available easily to better deliver on growth and development. With more reliable internet access, we are starting to move the FSM government to modern cloud-based email and collaboration tools. This is already making a difference in terms of our efficiency and productivity. We believe that harnessing these tools will help us deliver better education, health, and employment opportunities for our people. In conclusion, I wish to express our continued desire to seek the guidance and support of the ITU, including our development partners and friends. With such financial and technical assistance, small island countries like mine can also share and realize the benefits of ICT as a tool of improving the delivery of essential government services to our people. Thank you very much.